In the last example, we saw that at an 18% interest rate, and we'll keep that, I is 18%, it took between 4 BTW, and that's how I write between 4 and 5 years to double your money. But where exactly does it happen? Because that starts to matter when you're timing things out, right? In general, you want to know a more precise answer. So when? But when precisely? When precisely? And to answer that question, it's probably best to use logarithms. And here's the basic idea. Supposing you start with some amount of money, we'll say it's $100. It doesn't really matter. You'll see why in a moment. And you're, you're adding 18% to it. So it's 1, 1 plus 0 0.18. And you're doing that for some amount of years, t. And you want it to equal double 100. You want to double your money. So it's going to be doubled to 200. And that's why it doesn't matter to what number you put in here. Because whatever you put on this side, whatever you put here is going to be twice as big. So if I put a, put a 300 here, you'd have a 600 here, and so on and so forth. And now what you want to find is t. That's, that's the when, right? This is the when part. When does it happen? So to solve for an exponent, we want to use a logarithm. And to do that, we're going to divide both sides by 100. Divide both sides by 100. And 100 divided by itself is 1. And we're left with 1 plus 0.18 is 1.18 to the t equals 2. Now we want to know what, what power works here, right? So what we'd probably do is take the log of both sides. This is the logarithm. Now if you haven't done logarithms before, just bear with me for a moment. Log of this equals the log of this. Now, in order to solve for a logarithm here, there's lots of techniques. But probably what you would do, there's a special property of logs that says you can take this exponent and bring it in the front here. t times the log of 1.18 equals the log of 2. So what this ends up equaling, t equals the log of 2 over the log of one. 0.18, and this will give us a more precise measure of what's going on here. So let me show you that. So in this case, it would be you have a log button right here of 2 divided by the log of 1.18, and then just hit enter. And you can see it's about a little bit over 4, uh, four years. It's 4.19 years approximately. And that gives you a much more uh, exact result, 4.19 years to double your money. So this, this does relate to the rule of 72, because there is a 72-ness in this ratio of logs, which we'll get to later. But that's where the rule of 72 comes from. It comes from uh, the ratio, what we know about these logarithms. And we'll talk more about that. But I wanted to show you how to deal with this precisely. All right, thanks.